Yeah, the F-22 Raptor. What an amazing mechanism of war, right? Right? One question for you all, though. What good is your plane when your pilot can't even stay conscious? Woo. Yeah. But anyway, but anyway, uh, this has to do with a goal that I share in common with Occupy, and I know some of you are getting tired of my Occupy videos. I get it. I've lost a few subs. I'm guessing uh, I've lost a lot of the tea partiers that have subbed to my channel, but I'm not in it for the subs. I'm in it for the message, just as you all are. But uh, right-wing media hit people like to smash Occupy over the head with the uh, you don't have a goal stick which I think is complete and utter bullshit, that's just spin. But uh, one goal that I have in common with Occupy, and this is perhaps why I've thrown my hat in the ring with them uh, for now, is that um, I think their central goal, the goal that's shared by all Occupies throughout the U.S., is campaign finance reform. A lot of people just don't know what campaign financing and the lack of regulation and the over, well, the decision that... Uh, the Supreme Court came to with regard to um, uh, Citizens United versus uh, the FEC, which I'm proud to report there are, uh, I don't remember their names for the time being, but there is a bill that is being presented in the Senate, I believe, uh, proposing an amendment that overturns or uh, reverses the decision in that court case, which would be great, because corporations are not people. Uh, for all of you big business people uh, that do watch my channel from time to time and love, you, love to leave you little troll comments, corporations are not people. But back to campaign financing. I mean, it, it permeates every every facet of our life. Uh, some examples, uh, BP officials lining the pockets of our politicians even prior to the spill, which resulted in a deregulation of our oil industry. And well, we all know what that deregulation led to. It led to the destruction of an entire ecosystem. And mark my words, the debacle in the Gulf... Uh, <laughs> If you believe the shit that it's all cleaned up and everything's okay down there, um, you're a fool. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, I hate insulting people, but that's just such a foolish uh, notion. Uh, let's look at health care. Uh, one of the largest groups of corporate donors in Washington are the pharmaceutical companies, so that's why you have jacked up health care costs. You know, they're going to squeeze every penny out of you that they can for every little pill that you ingest, for whatever condition you may have. But one of the biggest beefs I have, and this comes full circle to what I began the video with, is the relationship that is the military-industrial complex, being the uh, relationship between the politicians and the defense industry. I mean, we pump so much money into the defense industry, it's not even funny. We spend more than the world combined on our defense mechanism. Uh, the entire system. I mean, the only one that comes close is China. They spend about 150 to 200 billion on their military. We spend something to the tune of, and I'm, I'm giving you a rough estimate, 700 billion dollars on our war machine, which is just disgusting considering the tools that we pump out and how many people die as a result of said tools. It makes my stomach turn, and that's perhaps why I have such an issue with it. Uh, they, 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 they've just sunk right into our government, and this F-22 example is a perfect example. A perfect example. Our government has spent roughly 70 billion dollars on the F-22 program. Uh, that's just the F-22s. That's not the entire arsenal of the U.S. Air Force, which pretty much outpaces nearly everything in the world by a factor of 10. But this is just the F-22 project. Now, we get all these planes and this and that, except there's a fundamental design flaw in that uh, the oxygen system doesn't exactly, exactly work on the plane, and you have pilots that are losing consciousness in flight. So again, what good does that plane do you if you've got nobody operating it? Now, here's the deal. Here's what really pisses me off. Uh, beyond, well, not just the fact that we've dumped so much money into the war machine, but here's what really pisses me off with this design flaw. Lockheed Martin comes back and tells the government that they need an additional $24 million to correct the problem. What's the problem with that? I mean, some of you might be saying, oh, but it's the pilots' lives, we have to do it. Here's the problem. And mind you, too, Congress agreed to giving them the $24 million. Here's the problem that I got, though. When I go out shopping, and I buy a product, and there's a defect in the product, and I go back to that store and say, hey, this shit ain't working, 
Do they tell me I have to pay additional money to get it fixed? No, I get a replacement. I get one that works. The fact that our government is agreeing to this fucking nonsense absolutely blows my mind out of the water. It blows my mind out of the water. Lockheed Martin should be sh should be footing the bill for uh, for this this mistake, this design flaw. And here we are yet again paying into the war machine. Uh, I, I don't support. Um, just the um, I, I don't support the amount of money we throw at the military. I'm going to be honest. The amount of money we throw into the military, if you were to look into a peace research or something like that, would be far more suited to maintaining stability in this world instead of giving uh, the United States the means by which they can invade another country. Um, <clears throat> Iran, I, I, it just disgusts me. $67 billion in the hole already for a fourth, or whether considered a fourth or fifth generation fighter that runs circles around anything else in the world. There's a design flaw, and we foot the bill for that again. What would you do if you took your product that was defective back to the store, and they said, hey, guess what, you owe us an extra 24 bucks if you want one that works. You'd be flipping shit, I know you would. But when it comes to stuff like this, we would just sit at home, we don't do anything, save people that are becoming more and more active. And like I said, with the Occupy movement, it's nice to see some feet on the ground. I mean, we've all been doing this sitting in our chairs for a long time, but it sure is nice to see some feet on the ground. So that's all I got. I'm going to link uh, to an article in the below bar about this uh, F-22 debacle, because it's it just really, really, it's bullshit. It's bullshit. Lockheed Martin... If you, if you want to make these machines of war and you want to guarantee the destruction of more and more people through and throughout this world, if you fuck up the design, then you foot the bill. That's simple. But apparently there are some generals, I'm sure, that are nearing retirement and you've promised them a position in your illustrious corporation. So said generals and your money influence politicians and we get screwed in the end yet again. It's always the American people getting screwed. But anyway, that's all I got for now. Later. Peace.